Hello all, my name is Joe and in this course I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV and games. If you find this helpful please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos and don't forget to check out my website 3dassetlibrary.com for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also if you find this helpful please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry, games. So in this little section what we're going to do is talk about how to import a retopologized model and um, what that is, is if we look, say, click on the, uh, we've got the pyramid here, this shows an Heiser model, the arrow next to it, and just like model wireframe, you see you've got your wireframe here. This is actually pretty clean, um, but if we go to say something like our more high uh, poly one here, you can see here there's loads of triangles, and what the studios um, and general 3D models like to do is basically create their own mesh out of this, and um, so it creates a more cleaner, more efficient mesh. Um, I'm just going to... Um, use an auto-generated uh, mesh that I've done from uh, the ZBrush, which just using the Z Remesher, just uh, for uh, the purposes of this tutorial to, to show you how to import it. Um, obviously, if you don't know about um, retopology, uh, you'll need to look into that on, on things like Blender and that, because it's just, as say I've said in previous things, that's a whole Blender modeling course, but there's plenty of YouTube videos. If you get stuck, um, contact me, and I'll, I'll try and direct you in the right direction. So what I've done is I've exported my model and generally I would export it from the high quality one. So I've exported my model, I've then imported it into, into Blender, uh, then I retopologized it and um, I'm left with this result. So now if I just go to wireframe mode, you can see here I've got um, loads of little squares here. I say this is auto-generated, so it's not exactly 100% um, efficient, but it gives you an idea that we've gone from triangles to now squares and um, it's easier for us to set, select um, loops and things like that. And um, now, the important part of is that, um, currently I haven't found a way around this, is that when you import your model, you'll notice that my model is not on the um, uh, on the grid here, you know, at the, at the cross section, at the center of the grid, zero axis. It's not, um, not uh, set to that. Now, the reason is, is that I found that if, if I do that, and I import it into Metashape. Metashape then no longer knows how to process the textures properly because it's not in the same position. So what we'll do here is we'll make, you want to make sure that when you're creating your retopo that it's in exactly the same position that it's imported in without changing it. So you export, import it in, leave the position where it was, create your retopology, and then export it back out. So I've exported it out. Now I've just created a UV map, so you need to create a new UV map. Um, I've just used an auto-generated one here just for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, as you can see straight away here, we're now getting like the full foot, uh, full yeah, underside of the boot, the sole of the shoe. Um, so you can see straight away the differences. Um, so then what we do is go into uh, Metashape. We'll go chunk, import, model, and we can go boot retopo which is what I named it. Yes, we want to load in the UDIM. Um, no, we'll keep uh, the existing models so we can see the differences. So there we go, we can see um, here we've got our boot imported. Um, so if we say we'll switch to uh, wireframe mode, so you can see here it's triangulated it off. Um, I will show you how to deal with this in a second. Um, versus the full triangles here, so you can see our mesh overall is cleaner. Let's say, ignore these little crosses that are, are creating triangles here. So what we then do is generate the textures just to, um, to prove uh, that our UVs have come in. So we'll go to Tools, Mesh, UVs. There we go, so we've got our UV maps here um, as they should be. So now what we wanna do is select our new, newly imported uh, retopoed mesh, right click, Process, Texture, diffuse and um, this is you've got to do this every time you import the mesh you've got to do this um because uh, it obviously doesn't know our new mesh how it is in the in, in um, meta shape um so we'll just wait for that to do so now we've processed our texture as always before uh, this is now where it, people go wrong after we've done all our textures our diffuse map um, uh, ambient occlusion and our normal map what a lot of people do is they'll export the model now if we export this model we've got here we'll end up with all of these triangles which we don't want because that defeats the the purpose of the work that we've done with our retopology so what we do is we just export the textures so what we'll, we do is obviously as before chunk export texture and i'll just name this um uh, re topo diffuse 
Um, obviously, you do this for all your textures. We'll just do it for the diffuse map for a minute, just for to speed up the tutorial, and press OK. This is going to export our diffuse out. Now, if we go to Blender, we'll get rid of this model here. We'll import our um, model, our retopo model, so this one. That's going to bring that in. And now what will happen is if we click on our boot, click on the little um, material icon here, then we'll just drag this out. Um, just go to our base color, click on the little yellow image texture, open. Then we'll navigate to our folder, which is just on the other screen, and we'll see our retopo diffuse, import that. And now we have our uh, texture on our retopoed uh, model and if we check our wireframe you can see here we've still got all the squares and uh, with no lines through them because we didn't export the model and um, but we've exported the texture to successfully and we've got our texture so that is a very quick way of how to re-import retopologized models you could even you know say um, like we had this on this model we had that little hole there you know, if you had a bigger hole, you could actually go out and manually fix it if you wanted to, bring it back in and um, see if the, the texture then will sort itself out. Um, so, you, you know, it's not limited to to just retopology. You know, now we've got our clean model here. So um, a good example is if we, say, go to object mode, we can now cleanly select uh, lines there, whereas before with the triangle one we would have had a real struggle to select the lines and um, you know now we can do what we need to do with our model. Obviously when you manually do it yourself you can generate a lot better um, uh, more efficient meshes. Um, I've just done this for the purposes of this. So yeah that's how to re-import, uh, import retopologized models into your um, program uh, or in this case Metashape, I'm sure you can do this with um, Alice Vision and things like that. I know you can with 3D Zephyr, so it's, it should just be a fundamental um, part of a program. Um, if not, let me know and I'll see if I can find a solution for your program.